Did you think this channel is about computing? Oh yeah, you are right, but I'm trying something new to see where it leads. Let's talk about other interesting subjects too. Euler's formula, the most beautiful math equation. Sometimes it looks like this. And sometimes it's written like this. Mathematicians keep telling how elegant it is, bringing the Euler's constant, pi, the imaginary unit, 1 and 0. But what does it mean? I'm not a mathematician. If you want more details, I'm referring some better videos in the description, so let's keep it simple. Well, not quite. The full Euler's formula looks like this. If you replace alpha by pi, then you must remember that the cosine of pi is negative 1 and the sine is 0. Now we can easily see where the previous formula comes from. Get back to the full one. All those sines and cosines are intimidating, but they're the path for us to understand what's going on. Sine and cosine are about triangles, but also about circles. Take the radius on circumference. Given an angle, take the intersection. This point's x value equals to the cosine of the angle, and its y value equals to the sine. Do those x, y, sine and cosine remind you of anything? That's right, no rocket science, we're just talking about circles. Now consider that imaginary numbers are indeed two-dimensional points, where the real part represents the x-axis and the imaginary part the y-axis. So given an angle alpha, e to the power of alpha i equals to the sum of its real cosine x and the imaginary sign, y. That wasn't so hard. After all, the Euler's formula is way simpler than it looks at first. It's all about getting the concepts.